hello students how are you all how is your preparation going for the cuet exam so before starting the video i want to ask you all which is your favorite topic for this exam like the topic you are really confident in and which is the topic you are most lagging in that means you are not able to connect questions from that topic so if you comment down your uh, that topics will be very happy to know that okay students are well equipped with these topics and we want to focus more on those topics in which you all are lagging so we are back with the part 16 of the previous year question series in which we discussed the questions which were asked in 2023 paper 2022 paper we have already discussed and we have posted videos one to nine in this series are already posted and from 10th onwards to 15th we have already posted this is the 16th one so stay connected with us. We'll be soon posting the next series, next uh, sequence in this series. And I'm Devanshu Gupta, your mentor for food science and technology. So coming straight away to the first question we have, which of the following is the direct cost due to food safety accident? So what does food safety accident means? That means at any place in which there is a breach in the safety of food or someone has got some hazard because of uh, improper food. So what can be probable things direct cost to the company? That means the direct harm to the company, economic harm to the company because of food safety accidents. Losses in production. See, this may not be true because the company production rate is already uh, at a very high speed and a very considerable rate because uh, they have enough supply of raw materials, their machines are properly working, so production will not be affected. Emergency medical care, this can be there. Then time spent on regulatory work and tasks, this can be there, but not that much. Cost of training for replacement worker, this is not that much true because see the workers who are working in the industry, they know that probably these food safety accidents can happen and they are already trained in that thing. So emergency medical care which can be provided to a particular person can be a direct cost to the company which is happening because of food safety accidents. So second is the answer for this question. Then we have statement based question so dielectric energy includes molecular friction in water molecules to produce heat in food processing and preservation yes correct then infrared energy is produced by electrical resistance of food this is not right see heat energy may be produced because of electrical resistance but infrared energy will not be produced so first is right second is wrong that means third is the right answer for this question i hope you got the question then next question we have we have to match the ionizing dose with the action. So let's start. 10 to power 3 to 4 to 10 to power 7 rates is usually for microorganisms are killed. That means it is used for sterilization purpose. Then coming to 10 to power 3 to 10 to power 5 is usually for insect infestation and all in order to prevent the insect infestation. Then 10 to power 3 to 10 to power 4 rates is used for sprouting inhibition. And 10 raised to power 2 to 10 raised to power 3 is used for your dose, which is lethal to humans. So D is your second. So let's see. D is second in this and this. And A is third. A is third in this and this. So hopefully they have made some complicated question. So B is your fourth. So B is fourth in this section. So this is the right answer for this question. So first is the right option. I hope you understood the question. Then coming on to next, we have freeze cracks are seen in foods that are frozen employing which of the following freeze techniques so see freeze cracks will be seen in foods which are subjected to a very low temperature in a very sudden interval of time and that can only happen in your cryogenic freezing in which some cryogenic agent is used so this is the answer for this question then Sandiness defect in ice cream is caused due to which of the following reasons? See, I'll tell you this is one of the repeated questions. It was also in 2022 paper and it is coming again in 2023. So uh, you can observe, very well expect some of the questions from 2023 paper to be in 2024 paper. So this is what happens. <laughs> see, so let's see which are the options. Temperature abuse, no. In inappropriate quantity of sugar, no. Crystallization of lactose, yes. And high saturated fat content, no. So third is the answer for this question. I hope you understood the question. Then coming to the next question, we have statement based question. Hard wheat flour with 11.5 to 14% protein is desirable for making white bread. Yes, it is correct. Soft wheat flour with 2 to 4% protein, no. 
is suitable for making chemical 11 baked products having more tender structure see soft wheat has a ideal protein content of 5 to 7 percent in that range so 2 to 4 is very less so this is wrong that means first is right second is wrong that means third is the right answer for this question next we have which year was marked as the international year of millets so i guess someone who is even not from the food science background he will be able to answer this question because last year much of the work was done in uh, making people aware about the nutritional value and the economical increase in the economic value of millets so 2023 straight away is the answer for this question and you can expect this question to be in 2024 paper also and apart from that Apart from CUET, you can expect this in any of the other papers because it is one of the general questions. Then coming on to next, we have the formation of tiny ordered particle due to association of water molecules which act as an active site for crystal growth takes place during which stage? Pre-cooling, no. Supercooling, no. Nucleation, tempering, no. So this is from your chocolate manufacturing uh, process and very well I have explained this when we were discussing about chocolate and cocoa products. So the people who are in the bag, they'll be very much aware about what is the basic principle behind this topic. And uh, third is the right answer for this question. So here we come to the end of this video. Uh, we discussed the next eight questions which were in 2023 paper. I hope you understood all the questions. And in case if you have doubt in any of the question, then you may comment on your queries. We'll be very happy to clarify all your doubts. We are having regular doubt sessions for your CVT 2024 where we discuss the topics which you are facing difficulty in. And we have uh, doubt sessions on that. So stay connected with us and do join our batch for the crash course. We'll be very happy to have you on board. And uh, this was Devanshu Gupta and all the best for your exam. Stay connected for the next video. We'll be very soon posting the part 17.